Good morning! Welcome to Children's Time! My name is Miss Alicia and this is my daughter, Caroline. Today is very special. Do you know why? It's Halloween! Yes, it's Halloween! How exciting and fun! I bet you can't wait to show off your Halloween costume and eat sweet treats! It's also a very special day we celebrate in the Lutheran Church called Reformation Sunday. Can you say that with Caroline? Reformation Mason Sunday. Great job. Martin Luther lived 500 years ago. At the time, the church had forgotten what it was supposed to be all about. Instead of proclaiming the good news about the love of God for all people, the church was making people feel like they had to do things to earn God's love. Things like giving a lot of money to the church or making a list of everything good they were doing. But... But I thought God loves people no matter what. That's right, Caroline. Martin Luther believed people did not need to ask the church to forgive them for their mistakes. God already forgave people through what Jesus did on the cross. Martin Luther also knew that we can't do anything to earn God's love. No amount of money or good works impresses God because God already loves us completely. Martin Luther was someone who prayed a lot and read the Bible. Remember when we talked about prayer last month? Hmm. Prayer is time we spend with God, and prayer helps us know the heart of God. Revelation 3.20 says, Listen, I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in, and we will share a meal together as friends. God was knocking for change. Martin Luther invited God into his heart, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, God was able to help him see how the church needed to change. Martin Luther knew this was an important message from God and wanted to share his ideas with others. A long time ago, we didn't have computers or cell phones to communicate with each other. So Martin Luther nailed 95 ideas and questions to the church doors. He knew a lot of people would see his ideas if he nailed them to the church door. Fun fact, Martin Luther did this 504 years ago today, on October 31st. When Martin Luther nailed these up, it was like he was knocking for change. A change in the way the church was doing things. A lot of change did happen. In fact, that's how the entire Lutheran church started. Get it? Luther? Lutheran church! The Holy Spirit worked in a wonderful way through Martin Luther. The church uses red to remind us of the Holy Spirit. Red also reminds us of love. Martin Luther reminded the church that it needed to be more about love. Look at the church today and see how much red you can see. The Holy Spirit still changes hearts today. When you are out trick-or-treating tonight and you knock on a door... Remember, the Holy Spirit is knocking on each of our hearts. When we open our hearts to the love of God, our eyes are open to see how we should treat each other. We have a better understanding of how to love each other and what change needs to happen so we can love each other better. When the door opens, you will get a sweet treat by getting Halloween candy and by remembering to invite God's love into our hearts. So will you close with me in prayer? Let us pray. Loving God. Loving God. Thank you for Martin Luther. Thank you for Martin Luther. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Today is a day to remember. Today is a day to remember. What church is all about. What, what church is all about. To love you. To love you. And to show others love. And to show others love. Help us listen as you knock on our hearts. Help us listen as you knock on our hearts. In the name of Jesus we pray. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye everybody. Bye. Have a great day.